What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have a studio tour for you guys. Basically, I wanted to go over my whole studio like setup, basically my setup for YouTube as well. Maybe that'll help out some people out there that want to get into YouTube or, or YouTubing or whatever, you know. Maybe this uh, will kind of help you out in seeing this, and also I wanted this video to almost be sort of a time capsule kind of thing too because I do plan to move later on this year and I wanted something to show off the studio again so I can remember what it looked like and all that too and we'll probably do an update later on this year too when I get everything moved and uh, get my new setup basically because I plan on moving to Oklahoma and I'm actually going to try to have a house so yeah this is the best market for that too isn't it oh god housing market sucks <laughs> anyway though this video is also sponsored by Timu because uh, they reached out to me uh, we did a video with them before on some different uh, Yu-Gi-Oh storage solutions and it was a fun video and I enjoyed that one but also since I was like redoing my studio and everything too they had a ton of different storage solutions that I'm going to talk to you guys about and some other random stuff too I just enjoy because they have a store that has a variety of all kinds of different products a lot of fun things at cheap prices and uh, I really enjoy it I mean their store is a lot of fun to look through and everything too and the prices are amazing and they always have different events going on and stuff too like currently as I'm recording this they have Earth Day going on so they're having like free shipping and stuff with that and uh, yeah if you want to try them out for yourself you can use my code down in the description or the link that I will have as well and I will also link all the products I'll talk about in this video too if you want to check them out and anyway let's just get to all this stuff and uh, we'll talk about everything as we go hey guys this is Cybernet, and uh, yeah let's go on ahead and go with the actual tour so first off you can see where I normally have the face cam right up here and then also we have our microphone and a little bit of like this noise isolating stuff too. So really helps with the noises and stuff. It's a little bit more echoey in here right now because I've been moving some stuff around. But yeah, as long as you have some stuff on the walls too, it can help with that. So if you're out there wanting to make videos as well, always remember that. So then we also have our three Egyptian God cards. Then, of course, I have a bunch of cards I need to sort through, by the way, but yeah, I had to put them over on this desk for now. I'm going to have to build like a shelf or something, but Ra is a little thick, <laughs> so yeah, he's a thick chicken, so he doesn't fit on this shelf over here, basically, so that's why I'm going to have to do something a little different. The way they designed him is kind of different than the others. He's a little thicker with the wings and all that, too. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a good look at everything, too, on these shelves behind me. I don't know if you guys can always tell in the videos. But, yeah, have all kinds of really cool stuff. Also, these are from Timu, by the way. I'm going to talk more about them later. But we have these magnetic cases, acrylic cases you can put your cards in, which are really awesome. I think they are really cool because they're, like, insanely cheap, and they hold the cards very well. Just that one little magnet. And then also these little cell phone holders too. That's what it's actually made for. I think it's for like your cell phone so you can watch videos and stuff and not have to hold your phone. Basically, it's a good card holder. So, <laughs> yeah. So check those out. I'll have them linked and we'll talk more about them later too. Then we have our Dark Magician. I really like that figure. Of course, my Black Luster Soldier, another one of my favorites. I like these monster art ones. I think the best, really. Monopoly. Who wants to play Monopoly? Then Blue Eyes White Dragon. Another one of our cards in like the stands and everything too. And then of course, Red Eyes, another one of my favorites on that. That figure is amazing. And so let's see everything else. Have like our Dark Magician Girls, then more Dark Magician Girl, and more. I, I feel like they make a few of, of uh, figures of her, right? Is that what it seems like? Then some like storage crates at the bottom too. There's nothing really to, to go through on those. Have some more like figures and even a digi egg of friendship. Then Kaiba and Dark Magician Girl. I think I'm missing Yugi out of those. So have to pick that up sometime. Then yes, even more. I'm not even that like silent magician I think is the best Yu-Gi-Oh waifu. And yet I have all these Dark Magician Girls. <laughs> Can't help it, right? Usually uh, there for such a long time, there weren't that many Yu-Gi-Oh figures. So I grabbed whatever I could. And now we're getting all kinds announced. Of course, Exodia, which I can't wait to get that model kit like Exodia that we're getting later this year. Bakura and Kaiba. Then both of the Merricks. <laughs> Crazy Merrick and regular Merrick, I guess. Then Kaiba and Blue Eyes Alternative. And then uh, Yuki and Dark Magician. So, yeah. I mean, all that stuff is really cool. Again, I'm looking forward to getting more figures, too, because this is kind of the year of Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Then, of course, this is the table I record everything on. It's uh, uh, one of those, uh, what was it, standing desks, I guess, basically, so you can mash all that and make it move. I don't really want to have to reconfigure that, so I'm not going to mess with it. 
Then of course we have a dual terminal. I want to actually do a video playing this sometime. It does work last time I turned it on. And have my Proplica dual disc. This is like the probably the most expensive dual disc that you can get. It's really nice though too. I know they've even made like some other repo like ones too. Maybe at some point I'll get them. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this case has a lot of different stuff too. Different Yu-Gi-Oh, some Pokemon and other things as well. Just some random collectibles. It's a cool little case though I got from my grandfather. So I think it's really awesome. And we have Yu-Gi over there. You know what Yu-Gi actually does over there? He blocks sunlight. <laughs> he, he definitely comes in handy. He is uh, my uh, sunlight blocker. So yeah, that hair does come in handy. Have like a robot shelf too I made as a kid with my dad. I think it's really awesome. Right now I didn't have much on it because again, I'm packing stuff up. So yeah, Power Rangers poster and boxes for figures and Kaiba suitcase and some other standees and stuff. Destiny 2. Don't really play that anymore. Or I guess that's regular Destiny, but still. Hadn't played that in a while. Then boxes, boxes upon boxes. I'm a hoarder, <laughs> basically. Also, don't let it be said that I open up everything. Here's part of my sealed collection. I have more than this. I mean, there's a few different things up there, but yes, I do have some sealed stuff. So <laughs> I don't open everything. That's like full of like different sleeves and stuff, by the way. I have like some of my binders, then different Yu-Gi-Oh decks. So I'll go ahead and show you guys this. This is like different decks that I'm working on or they're in retirement right now. It's how I organize them, basically. So maybe this will give some people some ideas. I want to go over more of my organization sometime too. Also, Timu, by the way, has like these deck boxes you can get as well. They're really cheap and yeah, they're magnetic actually. So I thought these were a really good deal. So I'm also going to have them down in the description. And yeah, if you need a good deck box that's not like, you know, something that could easily be crushed because it's in like an Ultra Pro one, it's really nice. Then, of course, dual terminal deck cores, which is basically, uh, for example, uh, let's see, Super Heavy. You know, those are coming out soon. I have like a bunch of Super Heavy Samurai stuff, like all in one package or fluffles and things like that. Basically, if I decide to make a deck, I have most of the stuff ready in that kind of box. And yeah, just different main sets and organize and stuff. Even have, you know, of course, where it all began with this one. And I have them by their set number and stuff, too, like the letters. So, yeah, that's kind of my organization system. I try not to keep everything because yeah, I actually do sell a lot of my bulk because, again, you only have so much room, I feel like. So that's kind of what I do. And then I try to keep the, like, the best cards on it. Also, tons of card sleeves right here. These, like, pro promo ones and things like that um I have like some different pins my OCG collection of stuff that one doesn't have anything in it because this one I've been reorganizing this actually so yeah I'll have to there we go again everything's kind of in disaster mode we also got this case this is from Timu as well this is something I showed in the other storage video and it's really nice you can actually collapse this thing and it's great to just hold like camera stuff and all that too so I recommend these they're awesome actually I have like three of them and then this box is what I'm definitely ordering more of this is another storage crate that is from Timu I will have it on screen and in the description all too it's really nice for this one I'm gonna have my deck boxes in it and then I'm probably gonna get one for sleeves and stuff too but basically you can take off the top, put all your stuff in it, and then if you just need like one thing, you just do that, and there you go. You can get a deck box out, for example, and you're all set. And you can just put it back. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that'd be really cool for organizing even like different decks that are done or anything like that. So I might have to do that at some point. Also, I don't know if you guys saw like different Digivices and Morphers and fun stuff I collect. I collect too much. We also over here, this is something I want to try to use more in future videos. I have a GoPro. This bag is also from Timu. It's actually a really good camera bag that is much cheaper than the ones you find online and other places. I got the tripod also from Timu. And yeah, I got like all these different accessories for GoPro. So all these different clips and tripods and everything you need, like a chest strap thing and just so much stuff. And then the GoPro is actually in this case. But this is something I would like to use in my videos uh, in the future. Like, we, we can use more of it or, or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I went on ahead and got all kinds of different accessories. And I think uh, you guys will enjoy that. Maybe we can make use of it soon. Also got our plaque. And then more of my figures have my Dragon Ball figures, basically. I know someone said something about how they wanted to see them at some point. 
I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball, of course. Trunks is my favorite of all the different characters. Also, Vegeta. Have some Digimon. I can only get so close to it right now, so I'm kind of <laughs> hunched over. And yeah, just a mix of stuff right now. Again, something I'm working through on the cabinet, and then I'm going to reorganize it, and I'll show you guys that when it gets done. And then more binders stuff I'm planning on opening. Again, some other like storage stuff. I'm, I'm a hoarder. And uh, also this army chest that I actually got from my grandfather. Of course, this he was actually in the military. And um, yeah, I repainted it, like tried to get the same color basically to kind of restore it. And it's a good place to put like some of my rarer stuff. Like I put some of my binders that I, you know, have like for different collections and things and want to keep safe in it. And it's really well built actually too. So yeah, <laughs> got to represent the military, I guess, right? It is really cool. I'm glad I have that. All right. And we are back. I went ahead and I have the normal setup basically for me now. So I can show you guys some of the other stuff I got from Timu. Like I said, I got more of those little, like, like I said, I think they're phone stands technically, but I use them for cards and I still really recommend them. You can get other colors. Again, I went with blue. And then I love these magnetic cases. Like, you can put different cards in them. I think Pokemon cards would fit too. And you just, like, open them up. It just has, like, a little magnet that's sealing it. So, there you go. And there. And then when you're ready, you just slide this part in. Kind of like a hinge. If I can get it right. The magnet's actually very strong. And there you go. So, yeah. It holds it very well. Like, these are very cheap and good quality so i do recommend these if you're looking to like have some of your collection out there they're awesome and again i do believe that does work with pokemon as well now one of the silliest things that i love again i've been getting into DD a little bit and you know kind of want some cool dice anyway these are actually rechargeable dice that light up is it something you need no is it silly yeah <laughs> but i had to pick it up i mean seriously look at this all right this is the case and you open it up and it actually charges them, kind of like how AirPods are charged or something too. And the dice will light up once you roll them. So here's like this one, for example. See, it actually flashes different colors. I don't know if the camera does it justice here. Get it to focus, there you go. But yeah, and they have like these little things you have to make sure to put them in correctly and then it will actually charge. Yeah, there's the little electrode things, I think is what you call them. I don't know, what when it connects with the case, it charges them, so. Got that, like, a, I think this is a D20, so just once it actually hits, then there you go. Because at first I thought, well, maybe mine were just duds and they weren't working right, but you actually have to roll them to get them going, and then they stop after a little bit. But I don't know. I wanted to show you guys because I, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's such a silly thing that I don't need, but I had to pick up kind of thing, you know? And yeah, let me know what you guys think about the studio. Yeah, there's a mix of just my random storage stuff and then, of course, you know, stuff I used to record. But I figured you guys would want to see it all anyway on that. And yeah, it's going to be fun to move all this for sure. But I do really like the different products I picked up from Timu to help me store a lot of this. Because again, that storage crate over there with the deck boxes, that's probably my favorite thing I've got from them. It is awesome. I plan on getting more of those because, again, if I put some sleeves in there as well. And then maybe, let's see, I have deck boxes. I'm trying to think of other things too. I could probably put some cards even if I wanted to or just different things that I could just open up the little door on it and just reach in, get what I need easily. That's awesome. Even like video games in there, I think would be a really cool thing. And you can even stack them. Like they stack and go together. So I'm definitely getting more of those. I really do think that's an awesome product. And I like a lot of the storage stuff too because I have a lot of stuff to store. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. And like I said, we'll do an update too later on this year when I move. So yeah, that's going to be stressful, but hope you guys are looking forward to it because we got more videos on the way. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.